Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So I'm back with the review of another custom ROM. And this time, it's Siberia OS for OnePlus 6 and OnePlus 6T. So without further delay, let's get started. And if this is your first time on this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press that bell icon to stay notified about the latest videos. So let's get started. So I'm going to divide this review into four parts. First, on how to flash this ROM. Second, what are the new features this ROM brings. Third, what is the battery life on this room? And fourth, the conclusion, if this room is good enough to be used as your daily driver. So before flashing this room, please make sure that you remove all the passwords and flash the latest Oxygen OS 10 on your device. After that, flash the latest Siberia OS 3.2 on your device. And then flash TWRP and reboot to recovery. And for the last step in this process, flash the Google Apps.zip file and then flash Magisk if you want root access. Lastly, pipe the data in TWRP and you're good to go. So just reboot your device and it's done. Now wait for a few minutes while the system reboots. So I personally feel that this ROM is best for those who like to do mobile gaming and want an incredible battery life. So stay tuned till the end of video to know why. So the UI looks just like every other AOSP based ROM. And just like the Pixel OS ROM, this has Oxygen OS camera as the default camera app, which is a good thing as it is one of the most stable camera applications out there. And it also supports 4K recording if you do use your phone for videos. Now let's dive into the settings. So this looks similar like most of the ROMs, except here we have the Siberia settings. This ROM also has a ton of features baked right into it. So in the system settings, you can make basic modifications, like in the animations. The one that I'm using right now is a CRT animation and I find it very cool from the early days of Android. This ROM also has pocket mode like in the Oxygen OS 10 and I like how you can modify even the tiniest of animations and settings, even in the quick settings panel which is just awesome. You can remap the hardware keys, turn on the always on display and yes, it also has the edge lighting feature which is handy for devices like OnePlus 60. And the most important feature this ROM has is the gaming mode which really comes in handy while playing and streaming games, especially for those mobile gamers out there. This ROM also has a call recorder built right into it, just like in the Oxygen OS, which comes in handy for some people like me, and it's a good thing to have. And the last parameter, the battery life on this ROM. So the battery life on this ROM is incredible. I did not expect that, as I thought I've already seen the best stable ROMs till now. But I'm happy to see this. The amazing battery life was majorly because of the aggressive RAM management on this ROM, due to which the standby drain was minimum, as compared to the other custom ROMs. So in my complete day of normal usage, I got around 6 hours of battery life with almost 1.5 day of standby time. Just have a look at this graph. I'm impressed by this. And I also did some gaming on this ROM. So the PUBG Mobile runs on high settings by default, and the gameplay was smooth. And due to that gaming mode, no annoying notifications came in between. So overall I recommend this ROM, especially because of the new features like smart charging, gaming mode, those granular settings and the great standby time it offers. So if you have any other questions, hit me up in the comment section below. And like this video if it helps you out. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see videos like these in future. So this is Manik signing off. Bye bye.